Hello Leo, this is uh, Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be your general weekly focus reading for the week of February 8th through the 14th. Uh, before I begin your reading, uh, Leo, I do want to wish you all a very happy Valentine's. The energy that I'm sensing to get right into your reading, uh, Leo, we have some mixed energy here. And this is just a general reading. It's going to apply to some of you, but not all of you. The emphasis energy that I feel carried out during this week is a sense of, you know, unsteadiness, instability, uh, and you have to apply this to, you know, either relationships, family life, job situation, and that which can include, you know, family members as well. You have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, so this is sort of like a mixed kind of energy one relates to at least one message that I'm getting uh, for you Leo one relates to there might be some sort of complications or something going on involving the work environment this upcoming week it may be that you're not getting along uh, with your co-workers for some of you that I'm reading for I do see there is um, possibly a sense of loss of income for some of you and then also uh, I see that if there are any projects or anything that you were hoping to put out there there may be some sort of delay in terms of that project um, yeah the eight of Pentacles is just it's like not taking fruit you know in terms of labor or whatever or ideas and then it fosters a sense of unsteadiness and security uh, for you, for some of the ones that I'm reading for. And then that whole emphasis about something I just see having to involve the work environment is unsettling. Something's going on or about to go on uh, for some of the Leos. You may have been passed over for a promotion. Uh, this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse may have to do with uh, a raise that or a bonus that you were expecting and didn't come through just yet. So there's a lot of messages with this Eight of Pentacles energy wise. All right. So I could spend all day talking about that, but I'm not. Next up, we have in your recent past uh, yesterday, going back to two weeks since this is a mini read, Leo, we have the Eight of Swords in the upright position. So for some of the Leos that I'm reading for there was some sort of situation going on where some of you may have been feeling like you're trapped or bound or there was no escape now you have to apply this to uh, whatever is significant or had been significant to you in the recent past yesterday going back to two weeks and this emphasis is on you know intimate relationships family situations co-workers involving you know work and then you know friends something stressed my leos out brought a lot of conflict some of this conflict may have been with another air sign gemini libra aquarius male or female but i like to see that card in the um you know the past because that's energy that you either endured and it's passing you. and But some of that energy I feel still lingering on uh, with some of you. So whatever the emphasis is with this Eight of Pentacles. In terms of the messages that I had given you. What's coming up in the middle of the week? So for some of you, you know, you might have some sort of uh, restoration of those things that I spoke about. But I still will place the emphasis on the other ones that I'm reading for that may endure some of this. So some of you may not even feel this Ten of Pentacles, which is in the upright position. So again, this is all about, you know, Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or females. Uh, it's maybe that if you are uh, for some that I'm reading for. Uh, may have been up for a promotion or a bonus or a raise. Some of you may get that. Um, and then again, some of you may not. What I see with the Ten of Pentacles is really a good card. It's also a card of luck, almost close to the uh, Wheel of Fortune in terms of the major. So I do feel that whatever 
maybe at the start of the week, energy wise with the eight of pentacles, making you feel insecure and unsteady by midweek and possibly further out. Uh, you'll start to gain some sort of uh, stability and bringing back that sense of security. And this is related to income. This is related to work. This is related to family. This is related to uh, relationships. This is just a general reading. So I'm just giving you what I feel and you have to apply it to whatever. All right. So some, you know, like I said, Capricorns, some of you are dealing with a lot of earth sign energies. OK, if they're not direct sun, um, earth signs, then they have some sort of earth elements in their their birth chart but the ten of pentacles in the upright is a very good card to have so the tens represent always a clearing for me so it's a clearing of negative energy which sits next to the uh, eight of swords and then there's you know good energy coming into space now because i said that because i'm getting to the last card and i know that some of you aren't going to like what <laughs> what the card is and what i'm about to say about this card but like i said this is a general reading you have to apply it to whatever it is and it's not going to affect everyone we have the lovers card in the reverse i do not like to see the lovers card in the reverse for any reason and it's at the tail end of your reading and so you know ironically it is valentine's week and everyone is you know always looks forward to valentine's and so this card here messages behind this card in the reverse is a strong indication that there are going to be splits and separations so i don't like to report such negative stuff in terms of you know the 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 week that i'm reading for which is valentine's day but this is only going to affect the ones that I'm reading for. There's going to be a split sep separation. That lover's card comes in and it trumps. It's a major. It's the only major in the reading. And it's going to trump. Now, if this lover's card was in the upright position, then I would say, you know, clearly some of my Leos are going to experience, um, you know a happy union possible marriages or something you know just connecting or bonding with another uh, person of you know significance it's in the reverse and i stay true to myself in my readings that there is someone out there that i'm reading for that will endure a split or separation uh, during this upcoming valentine's week uh, so i give what i get and i stick to what i say so the emphasis is the mixed energy here in terms of everything else that I have said. And then there's the split. Some of you may be splitting from a Gemini, another, you know, like an air sign. Uh, if not a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. That lover's card is all about partnerships. It's much more solid than the two of cups. And then it's also much more solid than the Ace of Cups. When that Lover's card shows up in the reverse, then there is an ultimate split or separation. Or a split or separation is about to take place with some of my Leos. Unfortunately, I have to give it to you that way. Anyway, for the rest of the reading, Leo, uh, I did select the uh, Romance Oracle cards to support your reading. And we have a uh, past life relationship. You have known each other before. So this message goes out to anyone who is not enduring a split or separation. So the person that you're dating or, you know, an established relationship, that person may come across as uh, someone that you've known before. It's like a deja vu sort of thing. And then the other card that I have selected for you, Leo, is My Beloved. Though we may uh, be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. So that's a deeper message uh, and I do not wish to get into it uh, because I don't want to get a lot of flack. But that card comes in to support your reading. Um, and that's what I have for you, Leo. For this upcoming week wow okay so i do still in spite of the 
dire news with the lover's card i do want to wish you all a very happy valentine's day and uh thank you for visiting my channel uh i wish you a safe week upcoming and also um i wish you all love and light until the next time take care bye